Hi all, hope you had a great Christmas and uh, survived it without uh, too many arguments, um, too many ill feelings. <laughs> I know Christmas is a stressful time for people. Um, I wasn't going to do a video today, we even did an intro to be honest, but I've got in my top bit here something that I've done on the 4 Series already, um, but now I need to do on the boys car. So it's just fitting, uh, it's a bit close isn't it? just fit in the dash cam. So um, I'll quickly take you through it. Again, I wasn't going to do this, so I'll make it quick. I'll make it easy, make it simple. And um, we'll get the dash cam fitted on uh, this one. And um, that's it. <laughs> right, stop waffling. Let's get on with it. So the first place I need to start is in the back. Um, I've got to get all this out. The boy's got a nice, in fact, I want to get one of these for hours. Um, he's got himself a nice little uh, boot liner. Save the mess. Um, so right, let me get the boot liner out. Let me get the uh, fuse box exposed, and then we'll start going through the uh, the fitting process. So as before, uh, I think it's the same as the four series. This lifts up. Oh, that's got a wow. <laughs> this one's got a. Um... <laughs> it's amazing the sort of differences between the two cars. Yeah, this one's got a hydraulic ram that puts things up. Um, and I've got to say, looking at the back here, it is not the same as the 4 Series. So um, I might have to do a little bit of research because I've got a strange feeling the fuse box might be somewhere else. Okay, it's pretty much the same. There you go, there's the fuse box in there. Um, just a slightly different way of getting to it. Um, there you go. Um, that's the difference between the 3 and the 4 Series, it would seem. So I'm going to take this liner out to make it a little easier. That seems to be a little... Um, Press stud just there to hold it in. There you go, like that. So that comes out, and then hopefully, there you go, it comes out like that. Um, it's attached at the back there somewhere, but I think it's just hooked in. So I'll have a look at that, and then we'll uh, we'll get this liner out. So yeah, it just pulls up, um, gets held in by the seat. So put the seats forward, and then give it a little bit of a tug, and out it comes. So very very similar to the four series. Um, but subtly different. Right, but that exposes the fuse box down there, so it's a good start. There you go, so we're pretty much in the area we want to be now, so I'm going to feed the box through underneath this panel here, and bring it out somewhere up here, and then we'll start linking it, obviously, as we did last time, uh, down the back here, up into the headline. So as you go before, pop that little cover off there, and then there is a you can't really see it, but right down in there, there's a clip. Release that clip and then the bolster will come out. There you go. Clip at the top there, released. Bolster out. So then we've got plenty of room to get through underneath the panels and into the fuse box. There you go. Showed you this before, but this one is slightly different. Um, rather than having the fuse on the wire, You've now got a plug and you can use one of several fuses. Slightly different to the other one, but same principle. So as last time, got it fed up there. Obviously dropped out the door of us um, to feed it up and through the headline. Just remember you've got airbags behind these headlines, so be very careful what you're doing. Um, so right, just got this piece of wire here to thread that through. Get that threaded through. Um, going to the front, I have yet again Oops, good camera work. Yet again, took the sun visor out to give me a little bit more room and access. So we just fed, fed, <laughs> we just feed that through there like so. And then we'll take it across and again, drop it down near the mirror. So there you go, it's all mounted in, all tucked up. Uh, all the trims and everything back on again. Why all hidden behind there. And let me take you to the back and I'll show you what we've done in the fuse box. So there you go, as before, uh, the replacement wire and plug is put in there. I had to put two fuses on that one for some strange reason. Um, each fuse seems to power one side of the, uh, <laughs> the actual wire itself. Um, so it would only work with two fuses, but there you go. Slightly different to before, but all okay. Right, that's that done then. Put all the trims back on and uh, we'll call it a day. So there you go, all the trims back on again uh, to access the fuse box. Oops. Come on, you bugger. There you go, under there. So all pretty neat and tidy and looking good. 
Ah, I shouldn't need to go in there anymore. So that is about it. So as I said, all the trims they've been back on, all the lining back in, seats are now back up again. We're about done. And of course, one last little check. Mission on. There you go. Dash cam's working. I'm recording. And when you switch it off, the dash cam goes off.